Well, hey friends, it's Dawn here. Welcome to another Tip Tuesday. And before I get into the tip for today, I just wanna show you these super cute earrings. I mean, how adorable are these? And like a lot of the jewelry I show you, they were a prize. So I want to say thank you to all of my customers because of your sales last month. I got these really adorable earrings. So they are actually a two-in-one as well because this little uh, centerpiece, I can take that out. Um, I can take the, you know, this part out and just wear them as like a little stud. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you and show those off because they just came in the mail the other day. And um, today's tip is actually kind of a follow-up from last week's video. So last Friday, I did a tutorial with the new contouring and highlighting sticks. So these are a limited edition Mary Kay at Play highlighting and contouring sticks. And I showed you how I contoured my face with them. And I had a suggestion and kind of a question and um, it was from Cece and she was like well this is a great tutorial I love it but what is the difference between contouring and bronzing and you know when would you do them and, and how would you do it and where would you place it so if you want to know a little bit more about contouring then check out the last video and I will link that up here um, and you can see how I contour my face and you can use again a cream uh, contour stick like this you can use a powder contour but one of the things you're gonna find with contour powder is they are typically a cool shade um, because we want to create those shadows and you're going to have a matte formula. Even if it's a cream, it's going to be a matte. We're not going to add shimmer into contour. So um, last week's video, again, I go over a lot of more information about the contour, but typically you would contour maybe like along the jawline or underneath of the jaw, maybe your nose, the top of your forehead, under your cheekbones. You know, those are just some of the common places where people would add contour to their face. And so again, that contour, just to recap, it's going to be a matte formula. They are a brown, but they're on that cool side. So you're gonna have maybe that grayish undertone to them. Now the difference with a bronzer, so a bronzer is typically going to be a warmer brown. So you're gonna get those shades of kind of the, the coppery, the golden, um, you know, that almost like a reddish tone to a lot of them or a gold tone to the bronzer. So where the contour is designed to sculpt the face. So we're going to either hide something, we're going to help it to recede, or we're gonna create definition where we might not have some um, the bronzer is going to add warmth and color to the face so that's where we're going to get those warm tones sometimes the bronzers can have a little bit of a shimmer to them um, so for instance back over the summer we had a bronzer and you can see I've used the most of mine here I'm starting to get to the end of it but this bronzer is just going to add a lot of warmth to my face and so if you want to know where I place my contour go back and watch my last video but if you want to see the bronzer you're going to use a big fluffy powder brush like this you want to just dip it into the uh, bronzer and where you would apply bronzer is you're going to apply it kind of like across the forehead here you would apply it maybe down the nose I like to apply a little bit on my cheeks. I do already have my cheek color on, but just a little bit across my cheeks. Um, think about if you were out in the sun, you know, in the summertime at the beach, where would the sun be hitting you? Where would you get that kind of flush of color? So that's where we would put it. I also like to bring it down here um, onto, and I do have a, I have a tank top on underneath of here, but um, it's a little bit lower. So, um, but I do have, you know, this area exposed. So I just add a little bit of color there with my bronzer as well. Um, so just spread, you know, kind of down the center of your face on your cheekbones. And this is just going to add that warmth and color to your face. So you can use the um, bronzer sometimes even as just a cheek color by itself um, if you just want a very quick, fast look. But that's the difference with contour and bronzer and where you would use them. So Cece, I hope that helps you out. And um, thank you guys for watching and I will be back on Friday with another video. So I'll see you then, bye.